So hello and welcome to my uh, tutorial on how to build a telescope. I've never done this um, and the first thing we're going to do is make a jig that's going to hold the back mirror in place and, and to hold it to grind. So this isn't actually going to be part of the telescope, this is a tool I'm making so that we can um, grind out the mirror. This is a bearing from a Lazy Susan t uh, turntable. That's one of those big round um, t t uh, turning surfaces you see in a lot of restaurants. And uh, at the minute I'm just measuring it out and just trying to keep the centering um, going and um, I started out thinking it's going to be the top of it and then changed my mind. The reason I've done that is so that I can drill out larger holes for the screws to go, the screw heads to go up through and into the top of the um, mount and then I'm also going to drill out a larger hole. Um, I At the, man at the minute this is going to be sort of just manually turned by myself but um, what would be nice is uh, you get like a microwave style turntable engine so that it will automatically turn as I, as I, as I grind would be would be nice but uh, at the minute I'm just doing it manually but what I'm just doing now is putting in a huge hole at the bottom through the bottom of what's going to be the bottom of the jig so that I could uh, mount a drive shaft up there later if I want to. Um, this is a very much a scrap piece of wood so you'll see random cuts in it from previous projects and things so this is just cutting it so that I can use the um, left hand piece as the top and then the piece with the five holes as the bottom of it so um, this is the top of it which I'm just centering the holes and then um, I sort of draw out an X to make sure that I know where the uh, the, the dead centre from where the bearing is going to be so that when I rotate it the glass will be in the, in the middle and this is just countersinking these holes. Um, let me know if this is a nice way to do these videos of sort of a mix between actually showing you exactly what I'm doing and um, it's sort of being, you know, not taking up a vast amount of time. Um, so now we're sort of going to bond the uh, two together. So I'm just aligning everything and making sure that it's all going to fit well. And um, this is also where I found out that the wood was actually warped. So when I tried to sandwich them together directly, uh, it, it it didn't work so well, so I put in some spacers um, that um, also kind of help with the length of the screws and made the table turn a lot more freely. So um, once that is done, um, I'm going to put some. Um, well, I'm going to centre it up, and again, I've just got a fairly crude method to try and uh, get a, an outline of where to place the uh, the glass blank, um, and then I'm just sort of fine tuning that. Um, so yeah, um, just doing that and then I'm going to cut out some um, chocks to hold the mirror blank in place. Um, well, if you're listening to this, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this as a way to uh, just, you know, not just sort of be driving out because it seems to be the restrictions are obviously the same for everybody else. Um, and I'm not comfortable saying, oh, it's work. Um, so I'm trying to change the direction that I'm uh, taking Boundary Starlight, at least until uh, this current crisis has it's sort of safer for everyone. Um, with that in mind, I would be absolutely incredibly grateful if people would buy, um, if you'd be tempted to buy some prints from me, because at the minute that is really my only source of income. Um, so yeah, um, I would be very grateful. And I am making this with the aim that hopefully um, you can make your own telescope, or at least you know a bit more about the optics and the work that will go into it. Um, not 100% sure that it's going to be a successful project, but uh, you know, we're going to go and try. Um, and yeah, so this piece of foam is quite important. I should go back to that. Where um, as I'm grinding, because it wants to be a parabola, I want there to be a tiny bit of give um, in, in, into the mirror so that you get a sort of, it's again, it's just aiding everything to be smooth and even um, rather than um, if, it, if it was directly mounted onto wood, there's a good chance that it'll be, um, it'll be sort of digging in more. Um, Apparently, what's called hogging when I'm digging out the mirror at first um, is 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 the sort of hardest part, and it's just finding that perfect curve. Uh, the piece of wood I just removed there was was just kept splitting um, with the other one, so that's why um, I'm replacing it with the uh, ply board, which seems to be a nicer material to work with. Um, and that is pretty much it. It's very rudimentary, and I'm just tightening it up, but that'll hold my mirror in place. Um, the second mirror blank I've got, uh, glass blank I've got, is actually one millimetre larger. So this evening, that's it, 149. This is 150 and it doesn't fit. So I'm kind of happy because that shows that it is kind of precise. But thank you for watching. So in the next video, I'm going to be focusing on making the grinding tool. Uh, so you can find out why I am dismantling a bathroom floor tile mat uh, to uh, find out how I'm going to attempt to grind the mirror. 
Um, thank you for watching, and uh, please let me know if you have any comments or thoughts, um, and thank you.